Hey boys and girls, BQ here, joined by Ro the Great. We're talking about Victory Road on Impact Wrestling coming on tonight. Tonight is Victory Road on Impact. The last few days we've talked about the other matches, which include Trevor Lee versus PD Williams, LAX versus OBE, and of course the sixth knockout tag team match, Sienna, Taya, and Taryn versus Gail Kim, Ali, and Rosemary. But tonight, the main event is going to be the global champion, Eli Drake versus Johnny impact so let's talk about the builds each of these guys have had so far so eli drake obviously won the gauntlet for gold and he had the uh, match in mexico where he was uh looking quite dominant and then i don't believe he's had a match since then has he um he faced okay just leading up because i i know he had faced uh, eddie edwards but i mean i think that was uh, weeks ago and stuff like that but outside of that i think yeah you're pretty much on track yeah so and johnny impact has had a couple matches he had two matches in one night the other night where he beat km and tejano and um he had another match uh previous to that so they've been they've been um They've been giving him a, a nice little push, that nice little uh, you used to be in WWE push that they, they like to do. So he's getting a nice little push. They're obviously building this as um, the big feud in the company. And um, Johnny Impact already gets a title shot. So he uh, they were already kind of teasing in the gauntlet for gold the way Eli Drake eliminated him. And then uh, he won the number one contendership against Loki. And even put that number one contendership on the line twice. So maybe that's their way of saying, hey, we're, we're making him earn this position so he doesn't come off like we're just giving it to him, even though they kind of are. So Eli Drake, Johnny Impact. Do you think this, uh, this works as a main event, a championship main event of a show? Yeah, just for the simple fact the parties involved. I mean, you got Eli Drake. You know, a guy who had, uh, you know, been preaching how, you know, when's he going to get his opportunity? And, you know, he finally gets his opportunity and he's a man and, you know, versus what he's talked about also as well. You know, somebody coming from somewhere else and automatically getting a title shot like now he's the champion. So he has an opportunity to, you know, really make a statement, you know. Yeah, and they were kind of teasing this at the top of the year where he's like, hey, these guys just keep coming in on the streets and getting title matches. So it's almost like it's almost like they've been building this Eli Drake run up since the beginning of the year. And maybe they weren't. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think they expected to put the title on him because I think they, you know, they had Obatron in the mix and everything. But that is the way it kind of worked. It was a very natural progression. And he's the man, he's the champ. Um, and Johnny Impact is the, the challenger. I can't see Eli Drake dropping the title this quickly. I've I've been really stating he needs a lengthy run. Would you agree with that assess, assessment that he needs a lengthy run? Yes. I mean, what the work that they've been doing with Eli Drake, you know, whoever beats him for the title eventually, I like like I think the only person if he were to drop the title to just say if it was quick and they can get away with it, I don't think there'd be any backlashes if it was James Storm, because I think a lot of us fans have been clamoring for him to get a title shot, but, uh, well, a title run, I'm sorry, another title run. But, uh, yeah, no, definitely, um, it's way too soon. Um, I think he's barely just getting started. I mean, he's becoming the face of Impact Wrestling and stuff like that, and that will totally kill his thunder if, you know, they were to have him drop the title so soon. Right, so Eli Drake, he's even said it in his own words, he's a homegrown guy. You know, he said, yeah, I wasn't a WWE developmental, but I was never on TV. So I am a born and bred Impact Wrestling guy. So, you know, he's a proud champion. And we don't even know Johnny Impact's contract status necessarily. We know he's wrestling in every company, but we know Eli Drake here is hopefully here for the long haul. He's uh, stated this much. And um, I think he needs to win this match, and I think he needs a very long title reign. And I think the match is going to be really good. This is a this is a match that they both really need to deliver on, especially Eli Drake. You know, he, this is his first title defense in the United States, so this is the one where he has to be be the guy and uh, really do his thing. Um, and you're right, he did have a match. I think it was a tag team match, him and Adonis versus uh, Eddie Edwards and and Johnny Impact. That's what it was. So yeah, Eli Drake was ha has been competing. Um, 
but yeah, this is this is the match we got to see what he can really do. First title defense, uh, he, he's got to show us. So, uh, so who do you got, Eli Drake or Johnny Impact? Uh, Eli Drake. Now, one comment I just want to make real quick. I don't know if you were aware of this, and I apologize not knowing the source at hand. But what really sold me on uh, Eli Drake and you know the decision once they decided to make him champion. There's an article out, and once again, I apologize for not knowing the source, but um. He was talking about, you know, being the face of the company, working out harder, you know, working in the ring, like everything that he was already doing it, doing it two times more because he wants to represent, you know, the company to its best ability, being the face. When you hear that from a guy, like that's who you want to make or even, you know, female talent, those are the people you want to make as champion. Eli Drake is a proud champion and stuff. He was doing doing this stuff even when he was a king of the mountain uh, champion. And that's one one thing that I like, you know, about him. He seems proud. He's not ashamed to be, carry that championship around, you know. So yeah, yeah. Eli Drake, man. <laughs> yeah, you make a real good point there. He did say all that, and and that's that's why the title needs to be on this guy. He needs to stay on this guy, and he needs to go to Bound for Glory with the championship. So I have also got Eli Drake. I don't know how the match is going to end. I would say there's a good chance um, of a no contest, in my opinion, on this one, but. Um, I, I think uh, I think Eli Drake really we need to really see him just like with Sienna as champions we really need to start seeing some clean wins with them without um, shenanigans or anything like that so um, I got Eli Drake um, and that's it uh, Victory Road will be on tonight on Pop and um, I think it's going to be a good show I really do and if you need a uh, if you need twenty uh, twenty dollars off on the fight app make sure to get in the description here click that link. And uh, you might be able to use that for Bound for Glory or a future One Night Only or a Ring of Honor show or anything like that. But um, definitely do that. And subscribe here on the YouTube channel if it's your first time. And then we will be reviewing Victory Road in just a few days. So thanks for swinging by, guys. Peace.